guys, welcome back to my channel. If my face looks at all dishevelled, it's because I just filmed this and took everything off. I just did my makeup and I really, I actually really did not like it, which hasn't happened to me in quite a while. Not a flex, but yeah, I just really didn't like my makeup. So I'm back and I'm going to film again. I've just taken all my makeup off. The funny part of this is I'm now running out of time. So I've got 38 minutes to create a autumnal glam look. That's what I wanted to go for. And I'm just gonna do it, I'm gonna do it in 38 minutes. So this is gonna be short and snappy. Starting with skin, I'm gonna use my Elemis Soothing Apricot Toner. It's new into my life and I really enjoy it. Next, we're gonna go in with moisturizer. This is the Then I Met You Calming Tide Gel Cream. Really cool product. I like this brand a lot actually, but you can see, I mean, <laughs> but I really love the way that this feels in my skin. And it's just very lightweight, nice and hydrating, but nothing too slippy and creamy. So I'm just gonna rub that in. Uh, this is the exact same base that I just did. That's the, the part, the part I didn't like in my last tutorial was actually my eye makeup. I went for something quite graphic and I've definitely have too many, I've had too many coffees today, if you can't tell. So when I was doing the graphic liner, it just kept on getting bigger and bigger and I just ended up hating it. So it's gone, it's washed off, footage deleted, not a photo to remember the time. For my primer, I'm gonna use the Vive Skin Nova. I am so happy that you love this product. I definitely do. Can't remember the last day I didn't use it. Makeup or no makeup, I wear it every single day. So I'm just gonna rub that in and then I give this a little second to get tacky. It is just the nicest primer for makeup. You can feel the skincare benefits in there as well. I've got a real mixture of products here. I've got a mixture of new products, old favourites, products I've not used in ages, and I've even got something that's not even out yet. Oh, I'm crying. So we're primed, and I just give that a wee second to get sticky. But that is glowing skin. The product I used to take my makeup off was the Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm, Marine Cleansing Balm. Oh my goodness, it's beautiful. And it got everything off so easy. I've got a wee red face just because I just scrubbed it with a face cloth. Next, we're gonna go in with the NARS Soft Matte Foundation. I hadn't used this in ages, but wait until you see the finish on top of this skin prep. It's a step yellow and a step deep for me at the moment, but once I've done my concealer and everything, it actually looked pretty great. So I'm just gonna chuck that on. And actually, this is a great foundation to wear today because my face is a little bit red. It just covers it right up. And like I said, autumnal glam is the brief. And we're going kind of full coverage today, which I've not, I feel like I've not done that in ages. It's been a little while since I sat down and filmed. I feel like, I know I say that all the time, but actually this time it has been a little while since I sat down and just filmed a good old fashioned makeup toot. And I really felt like it today. And I actually, I think I'm proving my resilience by washing it off and starting again. Honestly, I can't tell you how, how bad, <laughs> how bad the eye makeup was. Usually when I'm filming a pretty glam look, it takes me roughly an hour and 10 minutes. Nearly every time it's an hour and 10 minutes. So we've got half an hour less than that. So I'm just going right over my wee schnoz. Coverage of this foundation is pretty phenomenal and you do not need a lot, which is a problem because I've just poured so much out of my hand. There we go. So for concealer, I've got, I think, four favorite concealers. I think that's it uh, for the moment anyway. The Dior Forever Skin Correct Concealer in the shade 2.5N. I love the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I love the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion and I love the NARS Soft Matte Concealer. Those are like my favorites, ride or dies. Okay, I'm gonna pat that out. And this base for autumn and winter is so nice because it's a matte foundation, it's not gonna go anywhere, but with all the skincare and the primer underneath, your skin is super glowy and hydrated. I know that we're still kind of mask wearing mostly. This is really gonna stay put. It's been a while since I sat down and spoke to you like this. Tell me what's going on. I feel like I'm in, you know, things come in threes. I'm kind of, I'm, I think I'm, I think I'm waiting on my third one, unfortunately. Because yesterday I lost my nose ring down the back of a radiator that we can't get access to. My filming went completely wrong. And honestly, I think that's only happened to me in six years that I've done this job. That's only really happened to me like three or four times. So yeah, I'm just waiting, just waiting on the next thing. On the subject of nose rings actually, I said it on my Instagram stories yesterday, but the nose ring I've got in right now, it looks great. And it's just a little Astrid and Me You huggy earring, but it's got fake diamonds in it, faux diamantes. So it looks really expensive. I'll show you when I'm close up and I'll, I'll pop a link below because I'm quite obsessed with it. 
as I am also obsessed with this skin. We're going to cream contour today. Like I said, I want to be quite glam. We're doing full coverage. We're doing a big smoky eye. So I'm going to use my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Amandi. And we're going to use this to set the base of our bronze a little bit under my nose. And I'm just going to use my same foundation brush to blend this out. So I kind of pat. I definitely don't buff downwards. I kind of buff up the way. And I love to keep it nice and high. There we go. Oh, it's such a good color. So if you're in the market for a concealer as your contour, just look for something a few steps darker than your skin tone. This is quite dark compared to my skin tone. And just make sure the undertone's not too warm. Like this is warm, but it's not orange. So it makes for a really nice bronze. And then actually I just carry that up into my hairline. So it looks quite seamless. Almost forgot about you, buddy. Okay, for bronzer, I'm gonna use my modern bronzer in the shade medium. And I use it the same way every time. I use medium one to bronze all over, and then I use medium two just to add a tiny bit more depth. And just bronze on top of where I've put Amandi. My hairline as well. Just a wee bit on my forehead. Because my forehead's so out, if I go too much with it, it will just look bright orange. <laughs> Down the chin. And then I'm going into medium two. And I'm going to touch that under my nose and then just the sides a little bit. For my blush, I'm going to use the Say Do Blush in the shade Poppy. I have used all these products already, but this was new to me. And the way that I used it, I really liked. So I got a little bit on the back of my hand, just like so you can see it's pretty intense. And I get my foundation brush and just tap in and then tap onto my cheek. And this is just a foolproof way to use products like this because building it up in sheer layers is always going to be better than going in with far too much and having to try and buff it out. So again, I'm keeping that up quite high. I just think it's beautiful. I'm really intrigued by this brand. I think their branding's really nice. I've seen a lot of good stuff online about them. Powder, Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder, TLSP for short. Uh, I've got the little travel size one here and actually, I couldn't recommend it more. I think the travel size one is so great if you've not tried it before, but it also lasts for ages. If you've not tried it, I really do recommend picking it up because I think it's just my favorite loose powder. What's your, what's your favorite loose powder? Because I really have not found one that I like better. And then saying that, I don't even know if I've tried that many recently because this is so good. I just kind of stick with it. But if there's one out there that you think I should try, please do let me know. So I'm just setting that base in place. Give me some space. What else rings with All about that base. And then at this stage, I'm going to set my makeup with the All Night Out Setting Spray by Urban Decay. Summer Solstice, baby. I have, I still have like four of these and they're the best. Oh, it just smells like summer. It reminds me of travel. It reminds me of summer and freedom. While I wait for my face to dry, I'm going to do my brows off camera just because we're, we're in a time crunch. Okay, I'll be back. Hello. That was the quickest eyebrow I've ever done in my life. And I'm quite enjoying, see, because I've got such a tight ponytail, not only do I have a headache, I also have a somewhat facelift, and I really like when my brows are this shape. I'm gonna go back in with my powder, like I always do after I've done my setting spray, and I'm just gonna re-powder my, like, center areas to make sure that nothing's gonna move, although that actually looks all right. So we're nice and matte from the front, but then we move to the sides, and we're nice and dewy. To bring that wee bit onto the sides of my face. Okay, shall we zoom you in and do some eyes and let's try and not fuck it up this time. <laughs> so you can see the skin, I just think, I think that looks pretty nice. For my eyes, I have quite a lot of discoloration going on at the moment. So I'm gonna start off with a Vive Eye Wand in the shade Sand. This is my go-to eyeshadow base all the time and you'll see why, because if I just go straight over my whole lid, and just really cover it up in a corner as well. Then I'm gonna get a brush and I'm just gonna pat that out. And what you're left with is a really lightweight, skin-like blank canvas to work on top of. It's really lightweight on the lid, which is what I, what I love. Anything too heavy, my makeup will crease. I've got quite oily eyelids. So something that's nice and lightweight and mattifying, but can you see the difference? Like I've got veins and discoloration in here. Whereas this is like a complete blank canvas, which is great for when you're doing makeup on top. If you were just wanting to use an eye wand as an eyeshadow, then I would just go a step darker. But you get the same opacity and you get the same coverage with all the shades, which is really nice. 
and we're just gonna pat that out. How long have I got now? 20 minutes. I would say we've got 12 minutes to create a really beautiful eye look, which is quite not that's not that much time um, and also I don't even have enough time to talk to you about this but there's a video coming next week but I am very excited to share with you the Muse palette this is launching next week the waitlist is open before launch and before launch next week I'll have a whole video dedicated to the entire collection but I really wanted to use this today so we are talking the most beautiful romantic tones you're going to love this so I'm just going to go in I'm going to start with Merlot here and I'm going to go straight on top of that nice sticky eye wand. We're just going to place that shadow down. And do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do a classic. It's been a while since I did a more rounded, smoky eye. So I'm starting with Merlot. Again, patting. Briefly, just to mention, if you love the Essential palette, then you will love this palette because it's the same formulas that you know and love. I'm going in with Source, which is a really beautiful warm. It's almost like a like a light pink terracotta. A lighter pink, it's not super light. And I'm just gonna start blending. Oh, already, I like this better than what I did. I loved my eyeshadow in the first video I filmed, but I completely ruined it with graphic liner and I ended up just looking absolutely mental. Here we go, so I'm just blending that out with a fluffier brush and I'm gonna bring that in here, leaving the brow free. Oh, these tones. Do you know what's funny? The tones are really romantic and they're beautiful, but you can get quite grungy with it if you want. And you've got beautiful pinks like Love. See the shade Love just all over the lid? It's so pretty. I was blending like a dream. I'm actually gonna go in with the shade Love, that lovely pink, and I'm just gonna bring that up slightly. I'm not gonna wing it straight out like I usually do. I'm gonna go in with the shade Peony, which is the palest shade in the palette, which can be used as a translucent shade like me, like I'm doing right now, or you can build it right up. I'm just gonna use that to set the rest of the eye wand. I'm gonna use this old trick. I'm gonna go back in with my bronzer and I'm just gonna, instead of bringing my eyeshadow right out, I'm gonna use my bronzer to blend it out. Okay, I'm gonna add a tiny bit more intensity with the shade Velvet, just here, the darkest shade in the palette. I'm just gonna add a light layer of that along my lash line. And I'm not gonna wing it out too much, I'm just gonna blend that straight into my smoky eye. So just here, I'm gonna get a little bit more Merlot. Nice, so this is definitely more rounded than I usually go, but I wanted to, I wanted to try it again. I feel like all my eyeshadow looks lately have been really, really winged out. And I actually, I forgot how much I do love this shape. I think I'm gonna keep the lid matte, you know. There's a lot of shimmer coming <laughs> from this palette on the campaign video. So I'm just gonna build up Peony a little bit more on the lid, just to get that nice, soft pink blend. And then under my eye, I'm actually gonna go in with the shade Love. And I'm just gonna bring that under my eye. Oh, very pretty. And then I'm just gonna use my big brush just to blend that out. Oh, I love it. Okay, let's add some mascara. I'm gonna use my Urban Decay Lash Freak. I cannot get away from this mascara. I just love it. I'm just gonna start slowly building up some nice top and bottom lashes. I know I've asked before, but I am so curious as to how long do you give yourself to do your makeup? If you're, oh God, I just got scared on my face, ignore that. But if you were going out and you were doing like a really, a pretty glam makeup, how long would you give yourself? I think I would pro probably take an hour if I had it, but to know that I can do this in 40 minutes is actually pretty good. And I'm just waiting for this mascara to dry so I can flick it off. Okay, freckle. <laughs> feel the coffee coursing through my veins. I'm gonna keep it all matte. I was gonna do a brow bone highlight and an inner corner highlight, but I'm gonna keep it matte. I just think there's something so chic about a totally matte eye. I think it's been a little while since I did it too. I'm just gonna take that color peony on the inner corner, which is just gonna slightly brighten it up. Keeping you close, let's do our lips. I'm gonna do the same lip I did before as well because I really liked it. Uh, I'm gonna use Modern Lip Definer in Bark and Brat. Bark first, and we're gonna define the center, top and bottom. And then we're gonna blend that out. And I just literally use Brat to blend out Bark and what you're left with is, you'll, you'll see. Oh, I feel like this is a type of makeup I used to do a lot 
It is just really timeless, isn't it? I'm gonna zoom you out and we'll finish it off. This is where we're at. I'm gonna just quickly put a little bit more Merlot here. I can see that I need to blend that. For our lips, I'm gonna chuck on a little bit of Treasure just in the center. And then a little bit of lip do. And that's literally exactly what I did for my lips and my base last time. Because it looked, I think, really nice. How long have I got? Seven minutes. I need to highlight. I didn't do that last time, didn't get that far. I'm gonna use Skin Do to do a really beautiful glossy highlight because again, autumn, winter, my skin starts to get really dry and I just don't want that. So I'm gonna take a little highlight brush and Skin Do, I'm gonna really work that into the brush and then I'm just gonna start stippling on and then actually buff it in. And that gives that glassy skin that looks super hydrated. This has got squalene in it, which is deeply hydrating. So especially in winter, it's just gonna add that glow. Do you know what I feel like I'm missing? A wing, have I got time to do a wing? Yeah, I do. Right, let's, oh, I mean, this is how it all started to go peat on last time. Uh, I'm gonna use the new NARS Climax Liquid Eyeliner, and I'm just gonna add a lovely little wing. Hmm. Right, please just, please just go right, please go right. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of love it. Yeah. I'm very happy with that. We've got dewy, dewy skin. Look at that. Look at the dew. We've got dewy skin. We've got nice eyebrows. We've got lovely eyes. That, honestly, that was a bit emotional. <laughs> I cannot explain to you. And then, actually, what I would do is add a little bit more mascara. But that's it, guys. I hope you loved it. I hope you're here for the chaotic energy because that's apparently what I am rich in. As always, I'll link all the products down below. I will also link the waitlist for the Muse palette. Like I said, next week you can see a video all about the collection. Very excited. I hope you loved the look. Other than that, I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Do you like this snappy type video? I hope you do. In that last video, there's a dog here in my face. <laughs> Help me. Wow, we're gonna fix this before an accident happens. And then we're gonna, I need to sharpen it. <laughs> Man alive. How's your week going? How long have I got now? Half an hour. Pff. Easy days. <sighs> Wait breath. Wait breath. I'm kind of pretty. <laughs> Chaos.